Hi there, welcome to Good Sip Keeping. This video is part two of the purchase that I made with two of the Haunted Mansion dioramas from the Disney Store. In the last video, we put together and reviewed the Seance Circle diorama. In this video, we will be looking at the attic, which is actually themed from the Ghost Bride, who is also known as Constance Hatchaway. I am going to try and mirror the same format that I did the last video. So I'm setting a timer so that you can see approximately how long it took me to put this one together. I'm just going to speed up the unboxing part here so that we can quickly get to the good stuff. Just like in the other package, everything is individually wrapped and we get these set of instructions that have no words or explanation just it's really just an item list of the materials with sort of some pictures to follow the basic assembly is the one baseboard and the three vertical boards all held together with little plastic trays these pieces here you're supposed to run a, a piece of string through i think to hold the two sideboards kind of in like pull in the tension a little bit one thing that I noticed right away is that this kit has a lot more pieces than the seance circle. The seance circle had just kind of a few pieces that you put inside the diorama, but this one has quite a few. So we'll look at each of them as we unwrap them and uncover them. But a, I thought it was interesting that this one is quite a bit different than the other. So I have a little one at home and while I was filming this video, he kept interrupting me for assorted toddler things. So I ended up losing a few minutes with that, and that's why I'm going to just reset the timer here. Anyone with kids or pets knows it's just that way sometimes. Anyway, I will speed up most of this assembly because it's really pretty essentially the same as last time, which means I'm going to be fumbling around with the pieces a lot and trying to get these trays to fit properly. It's just so weird how the trays have such different tension. Like you can see that they're really loose in some places, but really tight in others. And I'm sure it just has to do with the plastic either warping, you know, through different temperatures or something like that. But it can make this part really annoying. It kind of feels like nothing ever really fits properly or it never feels snug. And you can see that I kept popping them out of the trays. So I think if you were going to keep this up all the time or keep this as a permanent display, you might want to glue those in place. What I have not mentioned yet is how cool the designs are on each of these boards. Um, these are a lot more detailed than the other one, and I love the little theme for Frank and Constance. I think that this one is so cute, and I love the wood flooring. So now we can finally get to the best part, which is unwrapping all of the individual pieces that go inside. If you're watching this video, I assume that, like me, you love tiny things, and this definitely fits the bill. Look at this cute little hat holder, um, hat rack, I guess it's called, and all the little hats that are on it. So I think as we get through and start undoing these pieces, you'll see that there's a heavy theme of hat boxes and bridal stuff. I think the combination of these details really tells a story. If you know anything about the Haunted Mansion story and the bride, she's known for using an axe to cut off the heads of her husbands. And so the husband in the cake topper here is missing his head. And I think that that is a clever and adorable detail. I'm only loosely attempting to make this look like the box. So I'm just sort of placing items where they fit. Some of these items are themed more along the lines of things you would find in an old attic, like this little bird cage. There's nothing real special about it. It's just a little plastic bird cage. There's not even a bird inside or ghost bird. Um, so that's just a miscellaneous item. Whereas this 
item is a table with three hat boxes on it. And so that goes along with the hat rack and presumably the hat box ghost. So I don't think Haunted Mansion ever spells it out, but I think that there's an implication that possibly the Hatbox Ghost is one of Constant Hatchaway's husbands. You can see this table is pretty top heavy. So again, I think if you were going to keep this as a permanent display, you'd probably want to use some sort of either glue or tape to keep that table upright. I think every time you move it, it would have a tendency to try and fall over like that. Here is the Ghost Bride. Um, to me, she looks more like a statue because of the way they have her painted. I wish that she had been like a clear plastic that you could maybe see through a little bit, and that would have given her more of the appearance of being a ghost. But still, she's a very cute figurine. The next item here is another one of those sort of attic miscellanies. It's one of those lounge chairs with a tiger rug blanket draped over it. Um, I don't think it necessarily means anything for the Hatbox Ghost or the Bride, but it's something you might find in an old attic. And the same goes for this table. Um, this table has this weird little nub right there. I think that's just a manufacturing defect. I don't know that it's part of the table, but the detailing on the table is very intricate. There's a lot going on here. I like that it's kind of beat up a little. Again, just fits the theme of an old attic. You know, with the addition of this globe and combined with the travel chest that is in here and the tiger rug, I kind of wonder if maybe one of the other characters is some type of old timey explorer like Dr. Livingston. Um, I didn't really look into that, but I'm wondering if maybe that's the case. Here's another hat box. Um, maybe the hat box ghost was some type of explorer and he traveled a lot. I don't know, um, but there's definitely three distinct themes going on with the attic decorations. You can start to see that as I unpackage more things, not everything really has a table or a home necessarily. So I'm starting to just place things randomly, which feels to me exactly how it would be if you found an old attic in the haunted mansion. Oh look, another hat box. Um, I think this guy really liked his hats and I'm sure that they're easy details to make. You can have a bunch of them. You can kind of stack them up. This one looks really beat up and old. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there. And here is the travel chest that I was talking about. This one has a lot of detail on it. I was pretty impressed. It has like a little lock on it and hinges and different colors. So this is one of my favorite details. I know not everything can be my favorite, but this might be my favorite. <laughs> it is a beautiful framed marriage certificate between Constance and Frank. You can see his little hat and everything in this picture, and I think it's a really great detail to add to the attic. Since there's no way to hang this, I'll just go ahead and put it right here, which is kind of how it is on the cover of the box if you're using that for reference. I'd like to quickly point out that these two brackets did come with the kit. You're supposed to include a string across the top here to sort of support these sides, but the string was not included in this one. And now here is the infamous axe. So Constance Hatchaway presumably used this axe to behead her husbands. Ooh. I think it's really cute. And I think it's a great little detail for the attic. These little books don't have much detail on them. They don't say anything on them. It's just kind of a, a little stack of books. In the picture on the box, they go under this table, and that's sort of hard to, to get them in there. They don't fit very well, uh, but it would also be hard to see them. Um, just depends on how you have this laid out. The tea set kind of goes with the wedding theme. Just additional details. There's the little teacups, a uh, little sugar tin, 
and the teapot. So again, there's so many more pieces in this kit compared to the seance circle. It's, I think it adds a lot of value and makes it a lot more fun. I'm going to just scatter these all over. Um, I don't think that they necessarily have a home or place or rhyme or reason. I imagine whoever packed up the attic was just trying to get things out of the way and hide them so that people didn't see them. And this is the final product. I think it is super adorable. There's a lot going on here and there's a lot to look at. It only took me about 13 minutes and I think that's a lot less than the other one took me. Let's go ahead and zoom in and look at all of the little details all put together. Please stay through the end of this little tour because I will give you my rating of this kit as compared to the other one and just in general how I felt about assembly and quality and whether or not I would recommend this for you to acquire. Just like with the other one, I wasn't able to find it on the Disney store. So if you wanted to do this, you would probably have to find it on eBay or some other site. I am not a professional diorama maker in any way, but as a casual user, these would be my ratings. For assembly, the boards themselves can be a little bit of a hassle, so I gave them a four out of five. And the quality, I think, is it fits cheap plastic. I mean, it's kind of what you would expect for the price. So I gave that a three. I really felt that the details are where this kit shined. There were so many little components and they all told the story and they all had such cute little details to them. So I gave that a four. And of course, this is a super fun kit. I love anything Haunted Mansion. And I also gave it a four for fun. So overall, I liked this one a lot better than I liked the Seance Circle, so I gave it a 4 overall, and I would definitely recommend this for anybody that likes to put together miniatures, but maybe doesn't want the in-depth detail of a more complicated kit. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll like and subscribe to more future videos. I will probably start focusing on miniatures a lot more in future videos, but if there's something else that you'd like to see, please comment down below.